Donald Trump's executive order this past week will empower the Federal Department of Education to withhold funding to campuses that do not squash anti-Israel rhetoric. In other words, it is now official government policy to deny college students and faculty members their natural and constitutional right to criticize, especially and primarily if they criticize any and all things Israel. This will also doubtless include speech that supports Palestinian rights. Trump also declared that the religion of Judaism is a nationality or ethnicity and is beyond criticism. Can you imagine the outcry if he had declared Christianity to be a nationality? Plus, by issuing this executive order, Donald Trump has made every Christian and non-Jew in the United States a second-class citizen. But don't expect Robert Jeffress and his gaggle of Christian Zionists to figure that out. I have said repeatedly that Donald Trump is America's first Zionist president. And Trump's actions continue to prove that statement right. Trump's latest attack against the Constitution, specifically the First Amendment, is just his latest sellout to Israel. I'll say it straight out. Donald Trump is not trying to make America great. He's trying to make Israel great. By the way, I'm glad to see the rabid Jewish Zionist Mark Levin agree with me at the signing ceremony of this draconian executive order. Levin called Trump, quote, America's first Jewish president, close quote. Even casual research will easily discover that Trump's family is dominated by Jewish Zionists as is his circle of friends and business associates. What a coincidence. Trump says his EO is protecting free speech on college campuses. That's a lie. His EO is squashing free speech, specifically speech that criticizes Israel or Zionism. Donald Trump is a pathetic puppet of the likes of the ultra-Zionist billionaire Sheldon Adelson. Even worse is the fact that the Christian Zionist preachers and churches in this country are as much Adelson's puppet as is Trump, which is why they love Trump so much. And all of this hypnotic support for Fa Israel can be traced directly to the false teachings of John Darby and C.I. Schofield and the thousands of Christian Zionist churches and scores of Christian Zionist colleges that those two men created. Now, the Zionist Donald Trump is trying to prohibit colleges from criticizing Zionism. If you are looking for an impeachable offense, this blatant abridgment of the First Amendment by the President of the United States is it. But don't expect Democrats in Congress to challenge Trump's unconscionable EO that officially elevates Jewishness to royalty status because the same Israeli lobby that controls the Republicans in Washington, D.C. also controls the Democrats. Trump's EO will deny funding for colleges and universities unless they prohibit the right of faculty and students to exercise their First Amendment freedom of speech to criticize Israel. How long will it be before Donald Trump decides to criminalize anyone who criticizes Israel? 
Donald Trump is not only a Zionist hack, he is a wannabe tyrant. And this executive order proves it.